All right, so we're looking today at increasing or decreasing an amount by a percentage. Very important to make some notes as we're going through this. So if we have to say we've got $4,500 and we want to increase it by 40%, there's standard things that we have to do here. So the first thing we have to do is we add percentage. The percentage here we're talking about is 40 to 100. So if we add 100, um, to, 100, to, 100 to 40, we get 140%. Next thing is you change that percentage to a decimal. Now, how do we do that? We divide it by, by 100. So we move our decimal two places to the left, once, twice, which gives us the result of 1.4. Then you take that amount, the 1.4, and you multiply it by your number here. So 1.4 times 4,500 will give us 6,300. Now, have we increased our amount? So where was 4,500? Yes, we have. So we increase it. So what we do is we add our percentage to 100, change it, divide it by 100 into a decimal, and then multiply that amount by uh, the amount we're talking about. Let's do some examples. So we've got to increase 3,700 by 20%. So the first thing you do is you take your 20, you add it to 100, you've now got 120. Then you're going to move your decimal, you're going to, you're going to move your decimal place two places so that you've now made it into a decimal, made 120% into a decimal. So now you've got 1.2. Then you times that 1.2 by your, your original amount, which was 3,700, and you get 4,400. Yes, we have increased it. Let's do one more. Increasing 1,500 by 15%. So we're going to take 100, add it to 15, and we get 115. We move our decimal two places to the left once, twice, so we're left with 1.15, and we times that by 1,500. It's 1,725, and we have increased it. All right, write down these notes. I'm going to look at decreasing. If you decrease 240 kilos by 15, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to subtract the percentage from 100. So here we've got 100, and if we're going to take away 15, we're going to be left with 75. Then we just do exactly the same thing. Move our decimal place two places to the left, so we now get... Convert to percentage by convert the percentage to decimal by dividing by 100, so we get 0 0.75, and we times it as normal. So multiply the number 0 0.75 times 240 gives you 180. So the only difference that you've got here is when we decrease, we subtract the percentage from 100. That is the only difference. When we add, we we increase, we add it from to 100. Um, if we do an example, if we're going to decrease 2,200 by 40%, we're going to go 100, take 40, gives us 60. Now we're going to change that to a decimal, which is 0 0.6, and we're going to times that by our first amount, which is 1320. Have we made our number less? Yes, we have. No, we're right. Let's do one more. So we've got to decrease 83.75 by 23%. So we're going to go 100, take 23, because we're decreasing, gives us 77. Change it into a decimal, 1, 2 will give us 0 0.77, and we times it by 83.75, which gives us the answer of 64.4875. Depends, you know, if it was a if it was a money sum, um, you would obviously only have two decimal places. If they told you to, to decrease, to use, uh, round it to three decimal places, the sum will always tell you. One thing don't ever forget is in your final answer, always put the unit that you're supposed to be using. So if you're talking about kilograms or if you're talking about millimeters or um, anything that you put your actual unit in there. All right, go ahead and try this for me.